wow, this is how you do a horror film. I'm talking about Borderlands. Now, Borderlands is, was a kind of a blind buy for me. I didn't really know anything about it when I went into it. And uh, I'll tell you, this, was a, this is a hidden gem. I'll go into a little bit more detail for you, but if there are any spoilers, go get it. This is an awesome movie. Now, it's a found footage film of sorts. It basically centres around a, a small team of paranormal investigators. And these are Vatican-sanctioned investigators. They actually work for the church, and they basically go and kind of find out if supposed miracles are, are kind of real. And it focuses mainly on two of them, uh, Gray, who is kind of like a techie, who's not really all that religious, he's just there for his sort of technical skills, and Deacon, who is this kind of like maverick priest type. And they're sort of joined by um, some other sort of religious uh, sort of um, priests and stuff. So there's a guy called Mark and uh, another gentleman who sort of turns up towards the end of the movie. And basically this kind of small team of investigators is sent to go and investigate this this kind of very very out of the way sort of church and um you know there's been sort of reports of miracles there and sort of spooky stuff going on by this kind of this kind of local uh, this local father basically and of course they being investigators they're there to really sort of you know disprove it ultimately and sort of see if it's just kind of a hoax or something like that and it's a kind of very small community and you get the feeling that you know, there's kind of like this sort of sinister secret and uh, of course there is and upon further investigation we kind of give in clues about you know what the actual the real sort of story is here and you know nothing will prepare you for what actually happens I won't spoil you um, but it, it, it's fine to say obviously there's more than meets the eye sort of going on here and you know it, it is a genuinely frightening film this movie it's got a fantastic sense of dread it's not a, it's not a high budget movie you're not going to see loads of special effects here there was a little bit of special effects on display but this this film is is just so good in regards to the way it sort of sets up this kind of slow build let's talk about the characters first of all so the first thing i liked the characters are very likable they're very different so if you if you focus on the kind of the main two sort of deacon and gray very sort of different at first i found sort of gray maybe a, a kind of overacting a little bit but to be fair i think that was just the kind of the character that he trained this kind of like sort of white boy sort of type um but you kind of got to know and as i say very different sort of personalities whilst sort of deacon is kind of very sort of earnest but kind of maverick kind of priest and stuff so you kind of bought into the characters so you know a, a good acting job um but the, the second thing I'll say as well is that even though it's a found footage film, the way they kind of get around it is they have, they have these kind of like head cams on, so they're there and they basically the Vatican wants them to kind of, you know, film everything to sort of document it. So they always have them on. Plus they they kind of fix a, a load of like uh, sort of static cameras around the kind of church and their sort of home residence as well. So again, you get kind of lots of the kind of the more the wide angle sort of static shots. So it's not. Type, not your, you know, this is what I'm saying, it's not your traditional type of found footage film, because there's, there are kind of, I guess, lots of kind of traditional camera angles, though it still really falls under that sort of found footage banner, I would say. But it's such a, it's such a kind of a well-made film for it's kind of, it's just eerie atmosphere. Its conclusion is kind of mind-blowing, I'm going to have to say. I think some people may find it a bit silly. I really liked it. Without spoiling anything, the, the ending does leave a little bit of a plot hole, to be honest, but I won't go into what that actually is. Um, and let's say, Grey, at the beginning, you may find him a little bit of grating, or you might find him overacting, but again, you kind of, I think you warm to his character and just accept that's basically the going to give who it is. I guess the only other thing I'll say, there are a few instances where, where stuff starts to happen, and kind of, you know, the, the cameras are kind of on, going on the fritz, so you can't really see what's going on. And again, you could sell it's maybe for, for effect, but is that just to kind of cover up budgetary restraints? Um, you know, well, who knows? But that was kind of the only sort of very minor gripe. It's, it's such a great film. I don't want to spoil it for you, because honestly, go, go see this film. If you like slow builds, if you like a, a genuinely sort of spooky atmosphere and a kind of, a, a really kind of um, story that kind of just grabs you and kind of pulls you in, check this film out. I will have to say one thing though. So, you might get confused with the cover. So that is the cover. However, there's another film called Back From Hell, and Borderlands actually has this image on some of the covers. So, it says Borderlands, but on this with this picture. They must go to Horror Covers R Us or something to get these kind of like 
you know, generic sort of spooky pictures. So this is a completely separate film, nothing to do with Borderlands, but as I say, sometimes you'll see Borderlands with that cover on it, so a little bit confusing for you. Now it's a British film, so I'm not sure if it's been released in other countries, but if you are watching from outside of the UK, I strongly suggest going and checking this film down. It's an absolute hidden gem. I'm gonna give it nine out of 10. It's near perfect horror film, if you ask me. Absolutely fantastic, I loved it. 9 out of 10, what did you think of it? Have you seen it? Leave me a comment, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.